Hello everyone. I just recently returned from a trip to Colombia where I saw a lot of beautiful birds including the scarlet macaw and I thought it would be fun to do a video and teach you how to draw and paint these beautiful birds. So first I started with the big shapes drawing in a circle for the head and then an oval for the body. Now I'm going to put in the eye and add the details. I'm going to be demonstrating today with my Rembrandt 24 color watercolor set. These are professional watercolors and they're great. To this 24 color set, I've added opaque white and silver, so I actually have 26 colors in this set. And I'm using silver brush, black velvet brushes. I'm starting with the macaw's head and it's red, but I want to have a variety of reds. I want to have warm reds and cool reds. So for the warm reds, I'm using cadmium scarlet and cadmium orange, and for the cool reds, I'm adding some Matter Lake Deep and also a bit of mauve. I've added some cool pinks to the bird's back using permanent red violet and underneath the bird's beak I've added some more mauve and matter leg deep. Now we finished up the red and I'm going to start adding the yellow part of the feathers. So the yellows that are closest to the red are warm yellows and I'm allowing the red to flow into the yellow a little bit. I'm using New Gamboge and also some Aurelian and some Azo Yellow Deep. As I move further down the back of the bird with the yellows, 
I'm going to use cadmium lemon. I've also added some yellow highlights to the top of the red part of the bird's tail. Now I'm going to pick up some blue, starting with cobalt blue, and start working on the blue part of the bird's wings. These birds are so amazingly beautiful. I want to deepen the blue and so I'm using ultramarine and Prussian blue and I'm also adding some blue that's more turquoise colored where it's close to the yellow. That blue is cerulean. I've used my favorite three color gray to paint the shadows in the bird's white face. That color mixture is yellow ochre, permanent red violet, and cobalt blue. I'm also using the same mixture to paint the bird's beak, but I'm adding more yellow ochre and less of the blue and the red. For the dark tip on the beak, I've used Matter Lake and Payne's Gray. This makes a really beautiful dark color and coordinates with the red colors on the bird. Now time for a smaller brush and to put the fine details in of the bird's eye. I'm using the same dark mixture that I used to paint the beak. paint the branch, I decided I'd like to have it be warm on top and sort of purple at the bottom so I'm using yellow ochre and a bit of rose for the top and for the bottom part of the branch I'm using mauve and some ultramarine blue. I dropped a few drops of paint on my paper that I didn't intend to drop and so I quickly cleaned those up with water. This is a Rembrandt watercolor journal. It's a hardbound journal that I'm painting in and I just love this paper. It's so easy to work with. If you spill something on it, it just can wipe off very easily and the paint flows and absorbs really nicely. I'm adding some white highlights to the bird's beak using opaque white and silver and also a white dot in the bird's eyes. I'm going to use some of the same opaque white and silver on the back of the bird's feathers as well.
going to paint a greenish background behind the bird to make the impression of trees and tree trunks and branches. To do this, I'm going to use some of the white of the paper, but I'm also going to use some cool and warm greens. The greens I'm using are Hooker's Green, Sap Green, and Viridian, and I'm interspersing some bits of yellow in between and some yellow ochre. So the yellows I'm using are Cadmium Yellow and Cadmium Lemon, and also some Aurelian Yellow. I want to keep my brush strokes kind of fast and loose. I'm using a number 12 black velvet brush. I'm adding some blues to the green mixture as well, and those are ultramarine and cobalt blue. And to paint the trunks, I'm putting in the lines while the paint, while the green paint is still wet, and I'm using mauve and ultramarine blue and yellow ochre to do that. Thank you. 